Hello and welcome back. The goal of this video is to show beginners how to use a Jupyter notebook. But even if you're not a beginner, you may also find interesting to watch this video, as you will possibly learn some new shortcuts that will make your life a lot easier. So let's start by going to the font platform and you may have noticed that there's a red button here. If you click on it, it will take you to the full screen mode. Here you will have a nice display of, of a Jupyter notebook, but uh, if you prefer working in the font platform display, you can always go back there. But uh, for this video, we will work in the full screen mode. Okay, so this is the very first notebook that you encounter during the course. And this is the very first uh, cell of code that you have to run. And you probably did it so by clicking on this run button over here. And you may have noticed that a number one appeared here. It's called the execution number and it will help you keeping track of uh, the order in which you uh, executed the different cells in your code. Another possibility was going to the cell menu and then clicking on run cells, but uh, here you may notice that it says control enter, meaning that this uh, shortcut of uh, pressing control, hold it and then enter, uh, it will make you execute the cell, the currently selected cell. Uh, another uh, quite similar option is to press uh, shift enter at the same time uh, and it will do pretty much the same except that it will take you to the line below uh, the selected cell. So let's see how this works in practice. If I press Ctrl and Enter, you will notice that the execution number is going up without changing the cell. And if I press uh, Shift Enter, it will do the same. It will run the cell, but it will take me to the uh, cell that is right below. Another thing to notice is that whenever I click outside a cell of code, it will have a blue line. And if I click inside, the line will get green meaning that the green line, uh, it, it means that uh, we are in the code mode where you can actually write some code, but if you press escape, you will enter the command mode where you can actually enter the different commands that we are about to see. And if you go on to go back to the uh, edit mode, you just press enter or escape to go back and forth. Okay, so in the command mode, I can press the a key in my keyboard uh, to add a cell above the selected cell and similarly if I press B from below I will add a new cell of code just below the selected the previously selected cell but maybe I don't want this uh, new cell and I want to erase it so in the still in the command mode I can press two times the D uh, button and td and it gets erased uh, but maybe I'm having second thoughts and I want this cell back so I just have to undo the erasing of the previous cell so I was just press z in the keyboard and there it is uh, you can always move with the arrows and uh, hold, press and hold shift to select several of them Maybe I want to raise them, so I will press once again double D. Uh, but I have second thought, so let's press Z. All right, now I made a mistake, and now this line of text is above the 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 code that I have uh, above before. So that's no problem because I can press X to cut it and V to paste it in the correct place. So another thing that you can do is if you press M in the markdown mode and then enter to enter the edit mode, you can use a or create a markdown cell where you can have the markdown formatting. And then you just click, uh, for instance, uh, press shift enter and you will render this uh, cell that it's going to be treated as text not as code, but uh, if you go back uh, to the command mode and you maybe want this to be 
uh, regarded as code so you press the Y button and it's once again treated as if it was code you see um, if you find it hard to keep uh, track of all these options just remember it's pretty much a some uh, salesware X, Y and Z is uh, for cut uh, no sorry, X is cut V is paste, C is copy, and Z, Z is um, undo, um, A and B are for adding cells above and below, M and Y is for markdown and um, code cells, uh, but the, the one best thing to keep uh, in your mind these different shortcuts is to go to the command mode and just press H H from help and you will see all of the shortcuts that I already mentioned and even some more okay so that's it for today I hope you learn a lot and see you next time <laughs>